Hello, it is balls hot, so my hair is a mess, but we are shooting um, at this really cool prison today, and um, I'm gonna stand in the shade while I talk to you before I show you the prison, so I look a little better. Um, so we're shooting at this really cool prison. It's abandoned. It was built in 1896 and was opened as officially as a prison in 1913. Um, it was a prison, an active prison, until 2011, which is incredibly recent, but it is so fucking dilapidated. You would never believe it closed five years ago. Um, it's really, really cool. It held 450 inmates at a time. I read the Wikipedia, and that's pretty much the extent of the Wikipedia. So now you know as much as I know. But this is, um, I'm in, I was just in the mess hall. That's kind of like our base of operations today because we're shooting in the kitchen, which is in there as well. But um, we shot kind of all around the prison. So um, it's really, really cool. P.S. For those of you who don't know what I'm shooting, I'm shooting um, the seventh guest series. So um, I signed on to this project like two years ago and uh, we're finally getting shoots so cool I'm in Virginia uh, is where this prison is and I don't know the name of the town but I do know it's somewhere near a place called Goochville which is real because we passed the sign for it and it made me laugh anyway so uh, like I said behind me is the mess hall and I'm going to a dilapidated shitty wooden walkway it's all falling apart and um, yesterday hello we went into the shoe, which is now behind me here. And the shoe, oh God, I'm gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> um, that's the thing that can happen in an abandoned prison. You can just get hit by a car. You gotta be careful, look both ways at all times. Um, okay, so this is the shoe. And it's where they put you if you're a bad person. If you're a bad, bad person. Um, so let's take a look at the shoe. And my shoes can it hurt so. Um, <laughs> so this is the shoe. First of all, it's like every building is like shit. Like you can tell it was built a hundred years ago and it just doesn't, it, you know, I mean, it's not shit. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool, but it's like shitty, okay? But the razor wire on every building, I don't know if I'm tilting it far back enough, is like fucking immaculate. It's brand new razor wire, so. They have priorities. Okay, so um, here's the shoe. It's fucking creepy in here. So every bit that I'm not in with someone is creepy, and I hope this is the beginning of my found footage film. Okay, so <laughs> folks, don't close the door while I'm gonna go in the shoe. Oh my god, they closed their car door, and I was gonna go in the shoe, and it freaked me out. Okay, I'm good. I'm, that's famous last words. Uh, this is the shoe, and oh wow, that's creepy. Um, this is where they put you if you were. A very friendly spirit that would not harm me ever. You get to go in here. Uh, this is a cell. So it's actually much bigger than you would expect, right? Like, not bad. I mean, I mean, not great, I'm not gonna lie, but not as terrible as you think. And then you get the fuck out of there because it's creepy as hell in there. So uh, that's the shoe. And we have not shot in there. Um, and then last night we were shooting on the other side of the prison. And I'll show you that really, really quickly and then I will let you go. Uh, okay, so we're going across the yard. This is like the, they have like workout equipment that's also up here. And um, you can kind of see, um, sorry, it's really hard for me to see what you can see. So um, somewhere over here, you know, I'm not gonna point because I can't tell what I'm looking at because it's so bright. There's like a white square on this green wall. That's like a vent into a room under the rec yard. And at the end of this little green jaunt, there's a sign that's like, hey, there's a bunch of asbestos in that room, so don't go in there. So that's always nice to make you feel like you're not gonna die of mesothelioma before you finish your series. So um, I'm not really sure what this building is. I haven't been in this one. This is building 5-6 or building 74. I don't know what the signs mean here. Um, this, ooh, okay, this is a dorm. This is dorm five and six, according to the sign. It says, only inmates assigned to dorm five and six allowed. This is a really fucking cool building. I haven't been in here yet. Um, so this looks like where they would have had a bunch of beds. You know, kind of, this is a medium security prison. So um, I guess they all had like an open bedding system. Very orange is new black. Um, and there's something. Oh, there's a shoe on the ground. That's never 
a good sign. Oh, it's a bathroom. Bathroom behind me. There's a sign that says, please wash your hands, which I appreciate. Um, all this stuff is stacked on the side. That's kind of creepy. And <laughs> this is really strange. So then there's like a big cage behind me, um, like a big cell. But then it has a toilet in it and a sink. But why? Who's in the, who's pooping in the cage? Who's doing the cage pooping? I don't know. There's also a lot of like doohickeys near the cage toilet. Let's see what the doohickeys say. Bath light, dorm, it's like all the controls. Hall lights, emergency switch, roof, exhaust fan, roof fan. Interesting. Overhead light and then a fan. And we're getting the fuck out of here because it's creepy. That was the dorm, dorm five and six. Oh, it's so much nicer outside. Hello. And then last night we shot in the um, counseling center. It's like the medical and counseling center. I don't know. Building 67. Um, this is a basketball court, yes, that I'm on. If you wanna fucking throw down, bring your crew. Make sure your peoples are there. It's a line from Prince, Charlie Murphy's True Hollywood Stories. No, it's fine. Um, so this is my favorite sign on the property because it says no loafing. <laughs> uh, I like that they kept like the 20s lingo. They're like, yeah, it's 2011, but there'll be no loafing. I really enjoy that. Anyway, so, oh cool, the letters are wooden. That's like, that's some fucking craftsmanship there. That's pretty cool. Somebody had to carve no loafing. <laughs> So this is the building we shot in last night and it is so scary and I'm not gonna go very far in it because it's scary. It is the treatment building and it says the Department of Corrections treatment programs. Um, I hope I didn't have my hand over the mic the whole time. Uh, Department of Corrections treatment programs, medical services, and DCE academic school, uh, unauthorized area for inmates to have tobacco or food products. So I'm out. Um, but this is the building. Um, sorry, I forgot I had the front facing camera on for a second. I got scared. Um, that door doesn't open, but it, uh, you can go around it. So this is kind of where we had all of our crew equipment last night. And then we shot in that hall over there that I'm not gonna go into because I'm too scared. But um, there's a kitchen here. This is where, this one here is where I got caught changing my shirt by my co-star. Um, and that was fun. Oh, there's like a blood thing there. Isn't that where they keep like blood? What are you? Oh, there's a dead bug. Gross. Um, right? Isn't this what they do like on water? Some sort of steaming or something. I don't know. Whatever. It looks like a centrifuge to me. I guess I don't know what a centrifuge looks like. Um, yeah, so the creepy hallway continues over here. No joke. I, um, I'll go a little bit in the hallway to show you guys kind of what happened to me last night. So we're filming this. Um, oh, also there's a dumbwaiter here. That's pretty cool. We were filming the scene where I had to run in out of the darkness and um, they wanted me to... Oh, it's so creepy in here. This is like another room. And... Uh, oh, my necklace is glowing. <sighs> okay, so this is the hallway we were shooting in and it goes both ways, <laughs> like me. Um, so anyway, they wanted me to run in one of these rooms down here, and I had to back up here in the hallway. This was all PS, none of this is lit at night. There's no power in this building whatsoever, so it's completely dark. And they wanted me to stand here, which is like in this doorway, kind of hard to see. And all the lights are were down here, and everybody was down here and everything this way was completely empty and completely black. And so standing here, I was almost out of the light. They wanted me to back up more, but this fucking door creeps me out so badly. And now I'm talking about it, so I gotta just get away from the door because it's creeping me out. But that door reminded me so much of the door in PT, and I kept just like seeing in my mind's eye what it would be like if Creepy McCreep face from PT slammed it shut. And they were like, can you just back up a little bit more? And I was like, I can't without an adult. So it was scary. And um, 
<laughs> I kicked a rock and it was so scary, you guys. <sighs> I went through the whole video being so brave and I just scared myself. So great. I'm glad we did this and I hope everyone has a great day and goodbye. <laughs>